I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, Mount St. Helens erupted over Washington State. It was a major volcanic eruption. It was the only one to occur in the contiguous U.S. 48 states since the 1915 eruption of Lassen Peak in California. The eruption was preceded by a two-month series of earthquakes and steam venting episodes. An earthquake at 8.32 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Sunday, May 18th, caused the entire weakened north face to slide away, subtly exposing the partly molten, gas and steam-rich rock in the volcano to lower pressure. The rock responded by exploding a hot mix of lava and pulverized older rock towards Spirit Lake so fast that it overtook the avalanching north face. An eruption column rose to 80,000 feet in the atmosphere and deposited ash in 11 states. At the same time, snow, ice, and entire glaciers on the volcano melted, forming a series of large volcanic mudslides that reached as far as the Columbia River, nearly 50 miles away. The U.S. Geological Survey scientists convinced the authorities to close Mount St. Helens to the public and to maintain the closure in spite of pressure to reopen it. By doing this, they saved thousands of lives. However, 15 people and thousands of animals perished. Hundreds of square miles were reduced to wasteland, causing over a billion dollars in damage. Mount St. Helens was left with a crater on its north side. The area was later preserved as it was in the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument. It is one of the most well-documented volcanic eruptions in recorded history and also one of the few to ever be recorded on film at the moment of eruption. I'm Mark Mancuso.